Morning, nearly two weeks after the Egypt brokered truce between Israel and Palestine, tensions are simmering in the contested neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah in East Jerusalem. Two prominent activists, a brother sister duo, were arrested by Israeli police, now have been released after long hours of detention. Siblings Muna and Mohammed Al Kurd are prominent activists from Sheikh Jarrah, an area which has become a flashpoint for protests in recent weeks. They are leading campaigners advocating the rights of Palestinians with thousands of followers and the pair has been at the forefront of a social media movement against forced expulsions of Palestinians in the occupied East Jerusalem. 23-year-old Munal al -Kurd has taken into custody from her home in the Israeli annexed East Jerusalem district. Father of the pair has accused the Israeli police of trying to silence protests by use of force. He has said that the police stormed the house in large numbers and forced them out in a barbaric manner. Footage on your screens shows 23-year-old Muna handcuffed and being escorted from her home in Israeli by Israeli officers. On charges of inciting riot, the police later sent out summons for the brother. He then had to turn himself in and claimed of being held for long hours too. Both have been released and have returned to home now. According to their lawyer, both the young activists have been warned to stop carrying on their activities. But today the Israeli occupation forces arrested me and my sister from Sheikh Jarrah in a clear um, intimidation move to stop us from speaking out against the injustices that they commit, the injustices that the settlers commit. Um, we were detained for hours and clearly they had no basis on which to charge us and so we were released afterwards. But before Algar was freed, a police briefly clashed with the crowd outside the station. Protesters gathered outside a police station calling for the release of the activists. Police were seen throwing stun grenades and firing rubber bullets. The Palestinian Red Crescent Society said 10 people were injured. The detentions come a day after police in Sheikh Jarrah arrested a reporter covering demonstrations with the media network of Al Jazeera. Press Freedom watchdogs have raised an alarm on how journalists are being targeted. Tensions could flare further in Jerusalem this week when a Jewish right-wing march is expected to pass through the old city's Damascus Gate. A similar march, its route diverted at the last minute, was held the same day that Israel-Gaza fighting broke out. The renewed violence can also pose a problem for the fragile coalition formed by embattled Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's opponents.